Hello, everybody. Web Publishing 2. Here we go. Um, the canvas is looking different this term. It's kind of cool. You can click on the settings here and you can recolor these so you know which ones to click on, which ones you don't want to click on. Um, color code them. And then you can write whatever you want on them. Instead of this number, I can write Web 2 Spring 2016, Web 1 Spring 2016, Web 1 Fall 2015, things like that. This is our dashboard. If you want it to look like the old days, you can click this little left and right um, switch and it will look like the old version of Canvas. I like the new version though. It's kind of cool. Over here we have our courses if you click on it. This is our navigation. Instead of navigation on top, it's on the left now. Um, I've renamed Web2 Spring 2016 for myself. I don't know if you guys um, want to do that or not. Calendar is here. Inbox, Commons, and your account are on the left here. So I click on courses or I can just click over here, Web2 Spring 2016. And it takes me to my course. I haven't published it yet. I'm still working on some stuff. Um, putting together um, uh, Dreamweaver tutorials for you guys because that's what we're going to work on first. So the navigation is on the left. It's not on top anymore. Click on announcements. And here's my welcome. I'm excited to meet you all. Yay! I know all of, uh, you have students. Uh, the, I have you guys students from uh, Web 1 class, and some of you I haven't taught yet, so we'll get to know each other. I'll be using Canvas for all assignments and assessments. All assignments need to be uploaded here for grading. Don't email them to me. Upload them here so I can check them out. Best thing to do is have a domain name hosting and upload everything you do to your URL. Send me the URL and I can check out your website online instead of you uploading it as a zip. When we're all done with your um, with your assignment, I want you to upload the zip so the school has it for later, whatever. Like a year from now, if you still if you don't have the domain name up and running anymore, they can see your work. Okay. There is a quiz for the first day of class in order to document that you began this course. Please complete as soon as possible. I think it's by Thursday, right, January 14th. Failure to do so may result in delaying the disbursement of your financial aid if some of you are financially aid. Please read the syllabus. So, some of you that haven't taken my course before, read it. Um, there's lots of information in it that you need to know. Pretty much the top half of the syllabus is the most important part. The bottom half is pretty much the same as usual for attendance and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can message me through Canvas. Okay, That would be over here. You click on Inbox. And then you come up here and click on Choose a New Message. Select a course. Web 2. Put in um, the person that you want to. I can do um, all in my Web 2 course subject I can write um, hey everyone and then I can write whatever I want to write here and then press send that's how you email somebody let's go back to I'm just gonna go back click back that was easier to do um, notice how long these things are these are you know there's I, at the bottom of this there's going to be this video that I'm playing for you ha uh, I won't be available all the time. If you do not, if I do not get back to you in a timely manner, please feel free to post a question in the discussions area. You can click on it right here, or you can go over here and click on discussions. There's a di there's a um, discussion called questions. Click on questions, and start you know replying to this. Or you can go to discussions and you can make your own. You can um, at discussions. There's a, a place where you can make a new discussion. I haven't uh, published this yet, so it's not there yet. So you'd be able, I think right up here, it'd be click on plus discuss, it'll have a little plus sign and say discussions, and you can make your own discussions. Let's go back to, here we go. Um, I hope someone in class can try to answer the question if I'm not available. Let's help each other out. Sounds weird, but the best way to learn is to teach what you just learned. 
I've been teaching a while now and learning while I teach. It's weird and awesome. Also, best way to network and make friends because a lot of us are introverts, right? All of us artists, we don't get out of the house very often. So make a friend. One quirk about me, I'm mildly dyslexic and mess up spelling. I know how to spell, but my fingers and brain switch letters in the word when I type. I'm an artist. I'm sure you guys have the same exact thing. I will not take off points for misspellings in anything you do for assignments or posts on here. But if I see it in your des- if I see it in your design, I'll ask you to fix it because clients hate misspellings. As far as books for this course, books are not required, but if you need books, look to the syllabus for answers to that. You can find answers to Dreamweaver, WordPress, and Muse on the internet through texts or video tutorials. I'm going to be doing Dreamweaver in a book, Classroom in a Book, CS6, and I'm going to be doing tutorials from that as a video, and I'm going to give you guys a um, link to the lesson folder, lessons for that, so making it a little cheaper on you guys, so you guys, helping you out a little bit. Um, as far as cl- books for this class, okay, I can do class meets, not mandatory, every now and again for whomever needs a little help. Um, I'll make an announce- announcement that everyone can comment and talk about what day and time I can come in and help you guys. Bring your own laptop so you're familiar with your files. There are no live chats for this class. I do live, I do not. I do video tutorials to show you what to do for each assignment and I also make videos to show you how to fix your own assignments. So I'll um, go through things on your own work and go, this is what you need to fix, this is what you need to fix. Assignments are due on Saturday night on the week that they are due by 11.55 p.m. All right, let's uh, check on other things here. Assignments, for those of you that are new to Canvas, or to this new look of Canvas. Um, the first thing you want to do is do your syllabus quiz and then start Dreamweaver. Grades, people, pages. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be putting any videos on the pages page, but um, you're going to have the home page will eventually, when, I, when, it's, when the whole entire course is published, will be on the home page, this page right here. And I haven't um, updated this yet. So I'll be working on that this week. Your syllabus is updated. It's ready to go. It's rock and roll time. Prerequisites for this course is Web Publishing 1, or if you test it out from school or just test it out into Web Publishing 2. This course is students will apply their HTML, CSS, and design knowledge to implement and administer various WYSIWYGs. What you see is what you get. CMS, Content Management System, and Publish Online Successfully. Your textbooks, if you need, is Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 Classroom in a Book. I recommend that book highly. Other software you're going to be using is uh, Dreamweaver Muse and software. WordPress is not software per se. It's um, online through your browser, so we won't have to um, download that onto your computer. Uh, Muse, I found a lot of tutorials online, and WordPress, I found a lot of tutorials online. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be making the tutorials or just giving you the tutorials because they are very time consuming to make these videos. Required text and materials and software. If you click on here, you can get the Dreamweaver book that I'll be using. The CS6 Classroom in a book. Right now it's $3.98. Yeah, awesome, right? Access to the internet, access to Adobe. If you don't have it, use a school computer. You have to buy a domain name and hosting for this class. Digital camera, iPhone, iPad camera can be used for photos. Jump drive or portable hard drive, personal computer. Sketch pad for designs, codes, and passwords. I recommend holding on to username and passwords constantly. Okay, make a Word document, not Word document, a text document or um, I use an Excel spreadsheet for all my username and passwords because when you use a Word document, uh, the, the uppercase and lowercase start getting really weird. Use basic HTML and CSS features and functionality. Be able to identify what causes a site to look professional. Be able to upload a website to hosting. Use different functionalities in Dreamweaver to build the website from a custom design. Make a template in Dreamweaver. Make a website from a template in Dreamweaver. Upla- upload the website with a template successfully to a hosting. Learn various functions and widgets of a CMS platform, which is going to be WordPress. Use different functionalities in Muse to build the website from a design, custom design that you're going to make. Make a master page in Muse and then make a master uh, make website from a master page in Muse. 
instructional methods. I'm just going to be teaching from the videos. Make sure you name your um, projects properly with your name on them and the name of the project. So like if your project was Green Start, you write your last name, first name, underscore, green start, dot zip. So I know who you are when I'm looking at your file. Because if there's no name there, it just says green start, dot zip, that's it. Then I don't know what your name is. I can't grade you. So get with it, people. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Go, click on calendar. And uh, you can click, go to January. You can see what's due. Syllabus quiz. White space. Oh, that's web design one. Um, Start Dreamweaver is going to be due the 23rd. And I haven't done any more. So I'm working on more content. Your inbox, your comments, your account. I think that's it. All right. I'll talk to you soon.